Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on and while you're down give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. So today we're talking about how to stop self-harming. I'm 16 months free from self-harm so I do know what I'm talking about. So I stopped self-harming because I got admitted to hospital and I couldn't break open a razor so in that moment I was like I don't need to do this anymore and I got rid of the razor. If you are serious about stopping self-harming get rid of your tools because if you don't have it immediately available to you you can't use it. And that's what changed my mindset with self-harm. Just by getting rid of the tools that you have. Next, the thing you should do is find distractions that work for you. For me, it's colouring and I love colouring. I recently got a new colouring book. I also like aromatherapy, so I have a diffuser. And I have lavender oil. This is the lavender oil that I use. And honestly, I also make YouTube videos. YouTube videos is a big distraction for me. Right now I'm struggling with hallucinations, so I'm trying to distract from that. The next thing I'd recommend doing is find a friend that you trust. So you become accountable for self-harming. It has to be someone that you're willing to open up to and say, hey, I self-harmed. Or hey, I relapsed. Another thing you can do is journaling. Express your emotions in a journal. You could draw, you could craft, you could write, colour, scrapbook. I love scrapbooking. I've got one complete scrapbook. I'm working on my recovery journal right now. And when it's done, I will do a video on it, but it's not yet. I've only done the first four pages. Honestly, I think the biggest thing you can do to stop self-harming is getting rid of your tools. Because if you don't have the tools, you can't do it. And I understand that it's not just cutting. There's head banging, burning, ripping your hair out strangulation, overdosing and so much more. Sometimes you can't get rid of the tool because it, it could be an oven. So sometimes you can't get rid of the thing but if you can I highly recommend doing that. But yeah that's all I've got for this video. If you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button like I said at the beginning of the video and I will see you in my next video. Stay safe, stay sober, stay strong. Peace.